hello everyone and welcome to the uh, session on the uh, introduction to hazardous waste so in this video we will uh, learn about the hazardous waste we will cover the what is hazardous waste we will see the history of the hazardous waste then the current scenario of the hazardous waste and some of the definitions uh, of the hazardous waste and there are some of the characteristics of the hazardous waste so coming on to the hazardous waste as uh, you can see this uh, figure or we can i can say the picture that uh, you all have been seen this picture in the uh, cans of uh, oil etc which uh, shows that this is the hazardous or this is the symbol of the hazardous uh, which may cause injury or uh, can have the death uh, uh, by this waste so as per the uh, uh, standard uh, the hazardous waste can be defined as the harmful to human uh, animal health or uh, nature or we can say toxic in nature which can uh, generally the hazardous waste is the harmful to human and uh, animal health so let us see the history of the hazardous waste so as you can see the in the uh, roman uh, we can say roman empire there was the lead positioning uh, we can say and in the uh, in the 19th century there was increase in the uh, industrial growth uh, as well as there was increased in the uh, solid liquid hazardous waste as per the demand so in the current situation scenario we can say that the uh, current technologies uh, in the uh, uh, ad uh, in the uh, increase in the usage of the toxic elements we can say by using these elements we can be uh, that can be used use for the uh, further uh, processing so in the current scenario we have the technologies to to reduce the hazardous waste so now let us see the current scenario as you can see the current scenario of hazardous waste the daily products or we can say the uh, different kinds of products such as uh, cell phones then the uh, batteries then the oil then the latex paint etc or we can say the household products such as the shampoos uh, and the daily products are creating the hazardous waste so they are classified such as the e-waste which includes the uh, uh, electronic items or we can say circuits from the your cell phones or charger or the from the laptops and the industrial hazardous waste includes the oil or we can say latex paint etc and the household hazardous waste uh, we can say expired perfume or any household product which can be classified under the uh, household hazardous waste so in the current scenario these are the uh, things which are uh, very hazardous in the uh, nature so, uh, as well as they are effective or we can say as well as they are uh, producing more waste and they are uh, harmful to human as well so um, moving to the definition of hazardous waste uh, the hazardous waste are uh, uh, are defined in three ways as per first it is the uh, uh, hazardous waste as per uh, the uh, hazardous waste rule 2008 MOEF which means Ministry of Environment and Forest and second it is defined as per the US EPA which is uh, EPA stands for the uh, Environmental Protection Act and third it is as per uh, RCRA so let us first see the definition as per the hazardous waste rule 2008 as per um, uh, MOEF so according to the hazardous waste rule any waste which by virtue of any its physical uh, physical chemical reactive toxic flammable explosive or uh, corrosive characteristics cause causes damage or is likely to cause damage to health or uh, environment uh, it with alone or we can say when it comes in the contact with the uh, other uh, waste or the substance that can be defined as the hazardous waste and it in it includes waste that is generated mainly from the 36 uh, industrial process which is uh, provided in the schedule number one of, uh, of this uh, hazardous waste and in additional uh, in additional some waste uh, become hazardous by virtue of the uh, concentrated limit which is provided in the uh, schedule number two of the hazardous 
ways so you need to uh, f uh, see the uh, schedule number one which shows the uh, uh, the 36 industrial process and uh, s schedule two of the hazardous waste which shows the concentration limit of the hazardous characteristics so moving on to the definition as per the uh, as per us epa the hazardous waste is a waste with properties that uh, makes it's dangerous or uh, ca or capable to have the uh, have a human uh, sorry harmful effect on human health or the environment so the hazardous waste is generally from uh, generated from many of the sources such as we can say ranging from uh, industrial manufacturing process then the waste uh, wastage of these batteries and many come in many forms including uh, liquid solid gas and sludges etc so let us see the hazardous waste under rcra so rcra stands for the resource conversation and recovery act so in that there are four four different list which are first it is the f list second it is the k list and third p and uh, u list so f list includes so f list uh, f list contains the hazardous waste which are generated by various industries or type of uh, facilities such as water treatment uh, we can say uh, operation so coming on to the k list so k list includes the hazardous waste which are generated by specific industries such as the spent uh, pot liners or we can uh, or we can say uh, uh, specific industries which generate this kind of uh, other kinds of waste uh, hazardous waste coming on to the p and p and uh, u list this both p and uh, q list uh, sorry p and u list uh, contains the commercial chemical products that becomes hazardous waste when they are discarded or intended to be discarded uh, the difference in the chemical chemicals on the uh, p list are identify as the acute hazardous waste and those on the u list are identify as the toxic hazardous waste so it says that the p the chemicals which are included in the p list are identified as as the acute hazardous waste and those the chemicals which are uh, identified in the u list are uh, defined as the toxic hazardous waste so here we have seen uh, f uh, f list k list p list and u list uh, which are under the rc RA. so the let us now see the important characteristics of the hazardous waste so there are generally four uh, characteris important characteristics of hazardous waste which is uh, we can say uh, ignisibility corrosivity then reactivity and toxicity so ignisibility which has the uh, flash point greater than 60 degrees celsius corrosivity which has the uh, ph less than 2 or we can say greater than 12.5 reactivity which uh, which uh, which are unstable uh, or we can say they uh, that cause the uh, reaction when it comes in the contact with the another uh, material and toxic which uh, which is leachate uh, test so coming on to the uh, first important characteristics uh, uh, which is ignisibility so they are uh, i can say they are highly flammable uh, in nature as well as they can cause the uh, fire during storage or transportation uh, and also have the uh, low flash point uh, uh, flashing point as we see it is uh, flashing point is greater than uh, 60 degrees celsius so uh, the example uh, i can give you like uh, volatile liquids uh, pe petroleum products uh, special fluids waste oil etc we can say now coming on to the second important characteristic of the hazardous waste which is reactivity so reactivity uh, they are highly reactive in nature and uh, we can say uh, readily undergoes chemical reaction with the uh, surrounding uh, elements so they are generally in, uh, they are also not stable in the uh, normal conditions uh, and also uh, reacts uh, vol uh, violently with water and air which uh, generates toxic fume gas and uh, vapors okay and uh, the we can see the examples so the examples we can see uh, the dry peric acid etc uh, sodium potassium uh, make, uh, metals etc uh, here you can see the picture which uh, shows the symbol of the reactivity now coming on to the third important characteristic 
of the uh, hazardous waste uh, so it is the third is corrosivity here you can see the symbol of the corrosivity so they are generally highly corrosive in nature and uh, it has the uh, uh, pH uh, less than uh, less than we can say uh, uh, less than uh, 1 and uh, greater than uh, 12 point uh, sorry pH is less than 2 or we can say greater than 12.5 so very low pH or very high and uh, the third thing uh, is the uh, example so the example we can say H2SO4 which is highly uh, 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 pH which has high pH then HCl then NaOH then lime battery acid etc so now coming on to the fourth important characteristic of the hazardous waste which is toxicity so moving on to the toxicity they are highly toxic uh, in nature the risk of po uh, poisoning uh, we can say life uh, supporting system can cause serious injury or damage and have uh, the have potential to uh, cause uh, dam effect uh, due to the waste as uh, so the example we can see that uh, the example are uh, we can say benzene then silver then anti-freezing agents etc so th there are also other important characteristics of the hazardous waste so it includes the uh, radioactivity then uh, non-biodegradability then carcinogenicity then uh, mutagenicity then oxidizing uh, characteristics and uh, le leachate so these are the other, uh, the other uh, important characteristics of the hazardous waste but this four which has been listed over here are the important characteristics it other than this the uh, other characteristics are uh, listed over here so here we have completed with the introduction of the uh, hazardous waste thanks for watching